Good afternoon. Let's talk about some uh, new subject. Today I would like to share some information with you about how to prepare yourself before you come for the first office visit. So how to prepare yourself if you are the new patient going to see the fertility doctor for the first time. First of all, I know that for you to make the, all the decision that finally made it to the doctor, fertility clinic, you already made a big effort in your uh, planning to have a baby. Here you have to go through the process of thinking, going through the process of thinking, do you really have a fertility issues? Make the point to the point that you are put at the time, call the clinic, or talk to your doctor, and finally made it to the place. So this already put a tremendous, tremendous amount of time already by the time you reach to the doctor's office. And to make the visit more efficient and more productive, I will give the following recommendations. Now, number, number one, don't be nervous, don't be stressed, take it easy, and whenever you have an appointment, you come to see the doctor, and particularly to come to see it about a half an hour early, so you can fill some forms, you can calm down, you can use the bathroom, and have some drink, and get yourself ready. Number two, before you come, you also can get some homework ready at home. Trying to recall your previous menstrual cycles for the last three to six months. The doctor always going to ask you how's your menstrual period, how long your period lasts, how often do you have your periods, and when will your last periods, and how long. So it will be very important, these are very important information for us to know, to know your ovarian function and how your ovary works and we can help you to figure out whether you have proper timing to get pregnant in the last few months. So it's very important to get all your information together about your last six week, months of the menstrual cycles. You can write down, you can put in your apps, in your phones, and so this is the first part of information and you can get it come handy. Number two, you can write down a list of questions you may want to ask the doctor. If you already went to see some other fertility doctor and, and you have some question, and it's always good to write down. So when you come, you can present a question, list of questions. Patients often feel that they want to ask a question, but they forgot when they see the doctor. The minute they walk out of our office, suddenly they remember, oh, I forgot to ask this question, that question. So, Write down a list of small questions so when you come, you can ask. Number three, if you already has done some infertility treatment or workup, you have some medical records, obviously you know, and uh, to get a whole medical records, but to take a look. Now, sometimes the whole medical records cost them money and they would usually charge you 75 cents per page and also take a long time to get a whole medical records. So most important things is get the, a list, the test results, of your latest lab results. So what we really like to see is A, all the tests results from your previous tests, and second, if you already gone through intrauterine insemination or in vitro fertilization, so-called IUI, IVF, we would like to have a piece of the paper information regarding the process, the outcome, and medication used, and the length of cycle management of IVF and the IUI cycle. So reach that few patients, usually the doctor can print out for you very quickly, rather than asking for the whole set of medical records. Now, this information is important for us. Of course, other medical information depends on your medical history. You may want to give a special records information. If it's, for example, if you come here for pre-implantation genetic diagnosis of certain disease on your embryos, Obviously, you need to bring the whole records on their part about the cytogenetic studies and previous conversation with the genetists, so forth. If you're going to transfer embryo, and of course you have to tell us where the embryo was made and what kind of protocol was used and how many embryos were frozen before you transfer this embryo to our facility to perform frozen embryo transfer on you. I always encourage the husband to come with the wife because this is a joint venture and the, sometimes the fertility issue due to the husband, sometimes the fertility issue is due to the wife, and sometimes together. It's about 40% is due to the wife, another 40% due to the husband, and then the 20% about a little bit from both sides. So it's always encouraged to have a spouse to come together for the initial office visit and for the initial consultation. 
And I also will recommend to the patient that during the first office visit, usually we will perform the ultrasound again and draw some blood. And sometimes patients feel very um, confused. They brought all the medical records, they have everything. Why we have to do blood again? Why we have to do ultrasound again? And most time what we do is we don't repeat anything you already did before, but ultrasound is just want to look at the latest structure information about your ovaries, which you change every day and every cycle can be different. So if we are ready to move on to the next step, or you want to get more recommendation, what will be the next step? We would like to do another ultrasound in house to make sure we know that everything the way which we thought. Why do we also want to do the blood? Most of the time we do this kind of blood, it's really about your estrogen level, your progesterone level, or your F follicle stimulation hormone levels. You just want to find out where you stand, if there are any follicles grow, when you're gonna be ovulating, or you are ovulating. So really just for assessment and trying to find out where you stand in the cycle. It's not so much about doing the test to repeat your infectious disease test, to re repeat the ACE virus test, no. This we can do it once every year. After the initial consultation with the doctor, we encourage and we always give you a follow-up call and email and a phone call the day after to summarize everything and give you further recommendation or information based on what we learn from your in-house ultrasound scanning and the blood work. And I always recommend that to have a, a return visit four weeks after the first cycle just to understand everything, just to review all the results again and to see what should be the next step. And that's pretty much what I would like to say about how to prepare yourself before the initial office visit.